folks and welcome back. I'm down in Kent this week, meeting up with Andy. Howdy. <laughs> We're going to uh, have a little truck camp up here in this lovely woodland high up on this hill. Um, had a, a pretty good journey down, just a, a snap fan belt and a puncture, so pretty uneventful really. Um, <laughs> yeah, got the, got the vehicles leveled up and um, we're just going to get things uh, things set up. Obviously we've both got roof tents, so we'll set them up, we'll pull the awnings out and um, get ourselves homely and uh, set up for the evening. Now that we're all set up with the, the roof tents and awnings and all the rest of it, um, Andy's just cooking up some spam. <laughs> Sorry, that's too manly. Spam. <laughs> yeah, we got some spam. What? And panini, paninis, is it? Paninis, oh, yeah. Spam paninis for lunch. Fantastic, and a cup of tea. Ketchup for you? Well, that'll do. Should we open another one? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, <open> <laughs> Easy. <coughs> Cheers. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. Hmm. Mm. Nice spot here. Beautiful. I've just got the last few bits set up, got the last few things out of the Land Rover that I'll need this evening and tomorrow morning, and I've set the bed up um, inside the Land Rover. I've finally finished it. <laughs> it's been a, a long work in progress, but uh, I finally 
got there almost there's a, there's a few things to, to do still i'm not sure whether i'm going to sleep up in the roof tents or whether i'm going to sleep um in the land rover tonight i'm, I'm quite keen to try the bed out um inside and um i've got a, a bit of a, a bit of an issue with the the roof tent in that it condensates um and uh, as a result it's got a little bit damp the the canvas is is damp um and it's a bit sort of musty smelling in there a little bit of mildew surface mildew on the canvas um, just because I haven't been airing it as much as I should do. You know, these uh, these roof tents are designed and made in South Africa where they have a very different climate to what we have in the UK. And uh, in the winter, they just uh, condensate really badly if they're the aluminium ones. So um, until I solve that little problem, it's um, it's always an issue. Yeah, I'm not sure whether I'll sleep in there with that kind of damp, musty, mildewy smell <laughs> or whether i'll sleep in the comfort of the uh, inside of the land rover on my new bed we'll see i'll make a decision um later on we'll see we'll see how it goes i've just folded the chair back up that forms the the foot end of the bed just so i can get in and out of the land rover a bit more easily and then i'll uh, put that down if i if i do end up sleeping in there tonight yeah but i've got everything set up so i think it's time to go and uh, start gathering up some firewood and he's brought a load of logs with him as well as his big fire bowl which we'll be using later uh, for our fire and, and to cook on and things. We can keep the fire up off the ground then, less, less clearing up and it doesn't leave a scar. We do need to go and get some more wood though, so we'll, we'll go off in a couple of minutes and see what we can find in these, in these woods around here. There's lots of pine and there's, um, there's hardwood as well, chestnut and things, so we'll go and get some smaller bits and pieces to, to get the fire going and, and a few more logs to last the evening. Thank you very much. <sighs> Adnams, Southwold. Summer Pale Ale. You're the same. Oh, yeah. boat trip. Boat trip. Ooh, lively. Oh, Land Rover suspension. <laughs> <laughs> That's after settling. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is well cold. Mm. <laughs> Lovely. Oh. We've got Anthony to thank for these. Oh, well, thank you, Anthony. Unwrap the cob knob. <laughs> cob knob? <laughs> cob nut? <laughs> You're a cob knob. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're just going to be using some wood walls. That's what overlanding's all about. Yeah. <laughs> Cheating. <laughs> yes. <laughs> A few twiggies, but we don't need many. A little bit of a brace. Well, 
We're having Moroccan lamb chops for dinner with, uh, with couscous and uh, a ratatouille. So I've uh, got a load of veg here which I'm going to chop up for the, for the ratatouille and I've got um, some passata and some other bits and pieces uh, for that as well. So I'm going to get on and do that first just because that's kind of the most uh, labour intensive really. I'll get everything chopped up and, um, and that can be uh, cooking away. The couscous doesn't take very long and uh, the lamb doesn't take that long either because they're just chops. I've got courgette and aubergine. We've got some pepper with a nasty manky bit which I'm going to cut out. With the stalk. And then we've got an onion. Start with the peppers. And in with the onions and the garlic, which I forgot to film chopping. Finally, in with the courgette and the aubergine. I don't know if I'm going to put all of this in. Zucchini and eggplant. Zucchini and eggplant, yeah. in this pot here and putting a vegetable stock pot in just heating that up so that it's hot <laughs> I think that veg is probably soft enough so I've got some tomato puree here a couple of tablespoons or a couple of squirts And then I've got some passata here. You say passata, I say passata, <laughs> passata, passata. <laughs> and some of my vegetable stock and some mixed herbs. I'm just gonna let that cook down, reduce down. Could have go in the apricots as well. Yeah. It? I'm only just roughly cutting these. Are we putting this spice in as well? Yeah, that little bit of spice that's just um, Moroccan. Moroccan. Moroccan seasoning. Moroccan. It's got fenugreek and cloves and onion and garlic and cumin and cinnamon. Cinnamon. All sorts. All sorts in there. There you, and, uh, there you go. There you go. Apricots. And there Here are our lamb chops, fresh from the butchers. And I'm just going to get a little bit of oil on them, just to help the seasoning stick. And in here I've got some 
is it pronounced Ras Al Hanout? Something like that, Definitely. like a North African spice. I've probably pronounced that completely wrong. Bombay. Not a lot of water left, is there? Mm. I think it's thick, that's the problem. Yeah. A lamb chop, sir. Just in time, I can feel rain starting. Yeah, <laughs> typical. It's beautiful. There we go. A bit of couscous. <laughs> oh. Bit of stodge. A siren in the background. Shows how loud they are, how far we are from a road. Yeah. There we go. Some ratatouille. Oop. Meal fit for a king. There we go. He's thrown. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you squashed your couscous. I squashed my couscous. Got the squashy couscous. Well, thank you very much, sir. Pleasure. Looks beautiful. I'm gonna. I don't know, it doesn't feel right eating off a table. I know, it's a bit that. weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Handy to have a table there. Yeah, you've got to have it for the yeah. overlanding. Absolutely. Hmm. Mm. Pie of lamb's lovely. We're currently cruising at 30,000 feet. If you look below, you can see Andy and Simon, two blokes in the woods, <laughs> gorging on lamb with ratatouille and giant couscous. Mm. Mm. Apparently Simon has withheld some donuts. <laughs> Maybe he'll bring them out later. <laughs> <laughs> Baby stoked up. We're yeah. freezing here. <laughs> Joined your cult. <laughs> wow. KS, <laughs> a little beer and a little fire. That is, I don't know what to say. There we go. Oh, a lid. Everything. I think so. Have you done that, Billy? No, that's got the ratatouille in that I'm going to oh, take home. Leftovers. To see if Tom approves. It's be judged. It's going to be judged. Judgment day.
least the rain is stopping. I think we're uh, gonna gonna hit the sack. It's uh, just gone midnight. It's quite quite late. Um, we've sort of just been sitting here having a few beers and, and chatting, but uh, yeah, cowering <laughs> under the uh, under the awning or under Brandy's awning, just to keep out of the weather a bit. Fire's pretty much gone out. It's just smouldering, so um, it hasn't really been a lot to to film really. Just while we've been sat under here, <laughs> chilling, <laughs> chilling. Yeah, yeah. It's been nice though. A cracking spot here, really nice. We're kind of up on a hill and um, yeah, sort of views down to a little valley on each side. It's, it's nice, nice little spot, peaceful. Yeah, there's, there is a road about, I don't know how far that is, a couple of miles away probably, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, a couple of miles. You, you do get a little bit of road noise from there with like loud motorbikes and things as you, as you do normally. But yeah, other than that, it's really, really just lovely and quiet, isn't it? Nice spot, really nice spot. And he's uh, cooking breakfast in the morning. Looking forward to that. Something Venezuelan. Hopefully on the fire pit, but if not, yeah. we'll get a guest stove under here. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what the weather's doing. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm still pretty full from dinner, but yeah. yeah. Anticipating breakfast. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, time for bed now, though, I think. And I think I'm probably going to go... <laughs> I think I'm probably going to go downstairs. downstairs. Yeah, and Not sleep. In the mule dew. No, sleep in the uh, in the in the Land Rover. I think. Yeah, it's just a bit too just a bit too damp and orid up there. I'll get that sorted out. Yeah, that that, uh, that bed inside is looking uh, pretty inviting. So, yeah, that's where I'm going to be. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night.
Morning folks, had a very good night's sleep. <laughs> Cozy in the, in the Land Rover, the bed's very comfortable. I'm really, really happy with it. And um, I was nice and dry. I was a bit damp when I got into, got into bed, just from, uh, you know, being outside and walking from <laughs> Andy's awning to mine, putting things away, all the rest of it. But um, yeah, soon dried off and slept very well. Woke up to a beautiful bit of sunshine this morning which I wasn't expecting. It kind of rained through most of the night, I think, <laughs> although I slept through it. But uh, yeah, it's clear this morning and gorgeous, absolutely beautiful light. Just having a nice cup of coffee to wake up and uh, Andy's on breakfast duty this morning. So we're uh, looking forward to that. I think we're just gonna, or he's just gonna cook on the, on the gas stove this morning just to um, make it a bit easier for clearing up. Hasn't got to wait for the, fire pit to cool down and things before packing away. I've got to um, get off reasonably early this morning. I've got to drive back up to Norfolk and um, I'm off on another camp uh, this evening. But um, yeah, I've got a three hour drive to get there first. So <laughs> Yeah, well, this coffee is good. So what are we having for breakfast this morning, Andy? Well, Simon. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> um, we're going to have uh, some arepas or arepitas, which is the smaller version, made from the masa here. And I'm just going to do some kind of scrambled eggs with tomatoes and onions with Ooh. it. Oh, and we've got some cheese as well. Lovely. Got to have cheese. Well rescued. Look at that colour change. Teamwork. Teamwork is dream work. Teamwork makes the dream work? Yeah, I'm not going to <laughs> So, cheese first. Oh, I think that'll make it go a bit melty, won't it? Mm -hmm. Nice. And then try and stuff in. <laughs> <laughs> it's falling off. There we go. Mm. Mm. That's really nice. Mm. Doesn't everything taste fresh with coriander? Mm. <laughs>
<laughs> well, that's us all packed away after our fantastic breakfast this morning. Thank you, mate. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, it's been a, been a nice camp. Really, really great spot here up on this little hill, sort of brow of this hill here. And uh, nice to be a bit more open rather than being in the woods where it's all sort of dark and dingy, having a bit of, um, yeah, a bit of sky and a bit of brightness when it's not raining. <laughs> yeah, it's been, been really nice. Good food, good company, a few beers, comfortable night's sleep. What more could you possibly want? Yeah, but it's time to face that drive back to Norfolk. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.